everybody. Um, you could say that I got a, I guess I got a case of the uh, Ghost Rider virus or something. I don't know what you would call it, or uh, uh, got bitten from the Ghost Rider bug from uh, BSing with uh, Overlord too much, I guess. And um, yeah, big props to Overlord for getting me back into these figures because I had like one or two back in the day, or maybe just one, and just. I guess for some reason back in the day, even when I was collecting in my, um, when these were originally out in my 20s or whatever, that, um, I, as much as I loved Ghost Rider as a teenager, um, when Mark Tria was doing, you know, doing art for the comics, I forget who wrote those, those early 90s, um, Ghost Rider comics, but anyways, I was like in junior high and high school or whatever, whatnot, but, um, anyhow, I was a big Ghost Rider fan, it just, that, 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 that character, this version of the Ghost Rider just spoke to me. And later on, I ended up collecting uh, earlier issues of the Johnny Blaze character and stuff like that. I don't think I have any of those Ghost Riders anymore. I, I'm really bummed out. I might, I'm not sure. I, I think I lost my whole Ghost Rider collection of comics back in the day. But, um, but like I said, uh, hanging out, you know, on Collector's Talk with the Overlord and uh, just being cool friends with him. He just got me uh, into Ghost Rider again from watching all his reviews and stuff. And I don't think I'm going to open any of these figures, so if you want to see a review on stuff, go to his channel. I'll leave a link. You can go watch all his reviews if you want to see how these figures work and stuff. We're going to leave these for now, mint and card. But, um, but yeah, we're going to take a look at them. Um, this one right here, the first one is the uh, Ghost Rider with the whip, uh, chain whipping action. Uh, it says it includes uh, glow flame details. Comes with a custom mini comic book. Very cool, very cool figure. Has a glow in the dark head, glow in the dark belt, a couple glow, uh, glow in the dark flames, which kind of makes him look like uh, kind of like a clown. It's weird. Um, here's a look at some of the other toys in the back. You've got these uh, the, the flaming stunt cycles, which I actually have, and I'll be showing you in a little bit. Then you have the um, the other cycle series, uh, which is just uh, Ghost Rider: Spirits of Vengeance, motorcycles and figures. But you got Vengeance, Ghost Rider, and Blaze, and uh, same for the stunt cycles. You got Vengeance, Ghost Rider, and Blaze, and then the figures uh, above. You got Blackout, Vengeance, Blaze, Ghost Rider, Skinner, and Ghost Rider Two. Which I think Ghost Rider Two is just the transforming uh, Danny Ketch figure and stuff. And uh, there's directions on top. Um, there's a little bit of an origin on um, on Ghost Rider. So you can read that if you want. Let's see what else we got. Then we got this guy, Outcast. Looks pretty cool. Looks kind of like a Viking type dude. Very, very Viking esque. It's got a cool skull belt, this uh, cool uh, glow in the dark claw thing, which I think I had another figure. I think an X Men um, figure that, that might have. Uh, might have been an angel figure, Archangel, from uh, from the, like, man, what was that island that had all the dinosaurs? But anyways, it was him and Storm and a dinosaur that came in a pack, and I think he had some kind of blurt, like bird claw type thing that went on him or whatever. It's kind of like this, but probably smaller. And he has like a cool mace with this glowing ball in this box type thing, which is pretty interesting. Kind of weird. I guess maybe it's a lantern or something. I don't know. But yeah, most of these figures have a glow-in-the-dark gimmick, which is cool. Let's look at the back. Uh, here's a look at his origin, or just, you know, his bio, so to speak, directions, and the same stuff you saw in the other one, but this one, you have some other figures in the lineup, you have uh, Zarathos, um, you also have the original Ghost Rider, which I want to get that one, looks really cool, um, Outcast, Exploding Ghost Rider again, and Armored Blaze, which kind of looks cool, looks kind of cyborged up. That's cool. Moving along, we've got a, uh, we've got Skinner. This guy's weird. He's got some crazy glow in the dark rib bones that come out. Some, uh, he's got some kind of like, uh, I guess, just bone things popping up on his, um, his forearms and stuff. And uh, it's kind of a bony guy. Extending rib action. A rib for her pleasure. There's a, uh, I guess, some kind of belt, with a bunch of pouches. Which, if you open this guy up, that belt will probably come in handy for... You can probably put that on any kind of... Well, probably not any character, but a character this size. Or just use it for uh, customizing, like a G.I. Joe or a Star Wars figure or something like that. 
uh, let's see. There's this little bio. Directions. More figures. Um, these are about the same figures, I think, or maybe different than the first one. Yeah, let's see. There you go. These all come with the mini comic, but all the mini comics are different. So, and I believe all the mini comics probably have to do with the uh, origin or the character that they come with. And next up, we got we got Ghost Rider Two. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is the same as the uh, as the other uh, Danny Ketch version. I don't think so. Is it they showed on the back? Cause this is just Ghost Rider Two. That's a look. But there's a look at him, and it's cool because his head pops in, and you can pop the Ghost Rider uh, uh, bust on him, and you got Ghost Rider, and you put the chains and the bracelets, and you got, you know, from normal guy to uh, Danny Ketch to um, Ghost Rider. Let's look at the back. No, it's the same character, it's just, uh, just maybe different color on the packaging or something. Okay, I, th I think by the time this story was out or some of these other characters were out, I wasn't reading Ghost Rider anymore. Probably. Look at that. Very cool, very cool. Let's see. What else do we have here? I believe, I don't, I believe we've gotten through all the figures yet. Okay, and then we got Zarathos with the uh, Ghost Fire Hurling Action. Oh, okay, I don't guess I guess what he launches missiles or something. I guess we'll have to find out. And this one's different because it says custom comic book included. It doesn't say mini comic. It says custom, which is weird. Which I guess is just a one-off comic of uh, for this character. Okay, load projectile into hand. Oh, he just blasts them. They're like, okay, his hands have holes in them, so you just yeah, he just shoots them. Shoots his little ghost. Go I mean, ghost things. It looks kind of like a jester. Kind of a funny looking guy. But yeah, these went, and I guess this one was seven ninety nine wherever it came from. Went from ten ninety nine to seven ninety nine. One of them said six bucks. So and I guess they kind of varied in price. Yeah. Another figure we've got uh, blackout, which I, I like. I said a. Pretty much probably was done reading these comics by the time these characters are out. So yeah, blackout looks like he glows his uh, hands and his face glow, and uh, comes with the bat. This might be the same bat that Morbius comes with. I think it might be the same kind of bat that comes with the uh, I think a Laura Croft figure that I had from Toy Biz back in the day too. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, there's some info on him. Kind of cool. Reminds me of like a 2000 X He-Man character in that picture, in that drawing. That's him. And here's another. I picked up. I actually picked up two of these guys because I got one Ghost Rider, and then I figured, man, why just get one? You can just find a whole lot of them. This one is actually in a better. I might keep this one and give him the other one, or because I know uh, who was it? Uh, Overlord wanted my doubles of this guy, but I don't know. Hmm. So I do have two variants. Uh, it'd be hard. I'd be hard pressed to get rid of this one because uh, this one has the um, the what call it the painted painted flames. Let's see, other one over here. Let's see. Find them. Yeah. Okay. These are two variants. I guess I don't know if they're mistakes or variants. But one doesn't have the flame, and one does. Hmm. Hmm. I know he wants one of these. I don't know which one he wants. But, uh... But we might have to um, work out a deal on this. Because I like the one with the with just the, the flames all together and stuff like that. But we'll have to just figure something out. We'll figure something out, because... People's be cool like that. Okay. All right, now we're moving to the stunt cycles, and here's a look at uh, one of them. This is Vengeance. Uh, Vengeance, Vengeance is a steel cycle or uh, skeleton cycle, and these figures don't come off, I believe. They just uh, 
Like they're just attached. And it's like a little zip line racer. Which actually it would be kind of fun to open these up and review these because I've been wanting to do some zip line or zip racer videos and stuff because I got a lot of uh, toys and vehicles like these. And I think they're fun. I always got a kick out of these when I was a kid. Um, yeah. Yeah, these are cool. These are very nifty. And he's got a cool, it has like a cool skull detail for the zip thing. Glow in the dark flames. Yeah, not bad, not bad. And here is Johnny Blaze, or Blazes. This isn't the, the 70s version of Johnny Blaze. This is also like the later 90s version and stuff when he hooks up with Ghost Rider. But that's his bike. Same skull detail. Better look right there. Look at the back. And on the wheels you got, it looks like you have one rubber wheel for traction on the back. And then on the front it's just a plastic wheel. These might be better for indoor play, like um, like on the floor, rather than outside or anything like that. And here we have the main dude. Uh, we have Ghost Rider's Ghost Fire Cycle, which is basically Ghost Rider on a bike. He's looking the other way. He's kind of shy, I guess. He doesn't want to look at us, but uh, very cool little figure on there. Once again, you got the back rubber wheel or rubber strip on the wheel. It, has, it also has a kickstand. I guess these all have kickstands. I didn't notice that. There's his bike. The little uh, flaming skull detail in there and the gold chain on the side or the yellow fire chain I guess whatever you want to call it. Off to the side. But yeah very cool. I love the card art. The card art's really cool. It'd be cool to have a van and have that painted on the side or something. All cheesy uh, 70s 80s style directions and yeah more info it's kind of annoyed that these have like a little uh hole poked through them for little rings to go through to i guess to display them and stuff that's kind of annoying but this was 490 it went from 12.99 to 4.99 at kb it's not a bad price i miss kb toys i really do i know a lot of us do and also another thing is uh, no batteries included for this which is cool but uh yeah that's a look at my um ghost rider haul I'm getting the actual bike with the figure today sometime, so I guess I'll just do another video on that. But um, once again, thanks Overlord for getting me into these figures. This turned out to be a ridiculously long video. Um, yeah, uh, more stuff on the way always and um, until I get a truck because I need one. And um, anyhow, uh, you guys have a good, good Thursday. Thanks. Peace out.